Hi, for those that don't know me, my name is Sheila and this is me answering Jamie's request for us to send in testimony. Um, some, the reason why I say some of you might not know me is because I've been at Grace on and off for two years, well over two years now, and the reason why it's been on and off is because I've had ill health um, and uh, it's meant that sadly I've not been able to join you in person in fellowship often, but um, I have been able to watch online and for a time I did sign up for Nazarites and um, Ephesians 4 which I enjoyed immensely and had to reluctantly give them up for ill health but I'm hoping to uh, rejoin as soon as possible and uh, for a time I you know came through Great Harwood so uh, you know the church plant in Great Harwood and uh, really enjoyed my time there as well um, so let me tell you a little bit about me so I, I can give testimony to uh, my Lord and my Saviour and my life really. So I've been a believer in Jesus uh, for about 21 years now. I came to faith in 1999. Before that, um, I'd had uh, really bad experiences. Um, I'd always felt like I'd been unloved, unwanted and I didn't belong anywhere and it was like I was wandering around life rootless and I just felt so lost, so lonely and yeah like the odd one out and no matter how hard I tried I could never fit in anywhere. I mean growing up as a child I even went along and had some kind of church involvement in various churches, but I didn't really get it and I didn't understand it. And it was like somewhere else that I didn't belong and somewhere else where I was unwanted and someone else who didn't want me. So, like I said earlier after that, I kind of wandered through life, going from one bad experience to another. Until in about 1997, uh, I met this lady and she was like no one else I'd ever met before. She had this sort of centeredness about her and this sort of peace and calm. And I wanted to know about it. Where did she get this from and how could I get it? And after a while, I, I kind of plucked up courage to, uh, <laughs> to, to ask her why. And she was delighted to tell me that it was because of Jesus. And we spent a while having conversations, real deep, intimate talks about Jesus. And the more I learned about him, the more I wanted to know. And, and it was like I was learning about someone who could really love me and really want me. And it was like I'd come home. This person was who I'd been searching for all my life. This love was what I'd been searching for. So I kind of was in, stuck in this position where the more I learned, the more I wanted to learn. But it was like I had three questions going round in my head. These three questions were, would Jesus want me? Is it true? And dare I believe it? So for a further six months, I had these thoughts going round in my head. And all that time, it felt like I was in free fall. And then one dark night in 1999, I just cried out and said, God, if you're real, show me. And at that precise moment, I felt like I'd been caught. And ever since that day, I felt like I've been captured, been caught, been got. So I'm never alone. So no matter what I've been through, no matter what I've faced, I've never been alone. Because on that day in 1999, I gave my everything to Jesus, my, my heart, my life, my past, my present, my future, everything. And, you know, I've never regretted it. Yeah, there's been ups and down times, but it's made me all the more stronger. And, yeah, it has. It's been a massive adventure. and. The more that I've learned, the more I want to learn. And I'm thankful for being able to, you know, come to grace and 
and to find out what my purpose is, to find out what it means to be um, a believer in Jesus. It's Bible-centred teaching and uh, it's really centred and solid and it's a place for all the family because everyone's welcome, um, just like everyone's welcome with Jesus. Uh, everyone's welcome at grace. And as I've looked back on my life, I've realised that I've always been looking for, you know, where I fit, where I belong, for my identity, for safety, for security, for acceptance and for significance. And for and and it's like all during that time, I've realised my worth and my value. It's everything is found in Jesus. And if there's anybody out there listening and watching this that doesn't know Jesus, please, please taste and see that the Lord is good. And for any believers out there that aren't realising the freedom, the full potential, the purpose in Jesus and their identity, you know, come along, come along and, and, and find out, you know, what it's all about, what is really true. Because Jesus really is the way, the truth and the life. And I know I've never regretted it. So, yeah, you know, come and join us. It'd be great to see you. God bless.